Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the MMA Short Show. As always, your boy, Steven Moustairs. And man, I just sitting here on Tuesday morning right now, I'm feeling terrible for a guy like Jared Cannon right now or somebody, you know, in this 185 pound division. Like, seriously, I feel like when we get these huge title reigns, like we got like from Israel Adesanya right now, I feel I feel like it just it's so bad for divisions. And I mean, it's crazy right now, too, to think because we really haven't. I mean, we have John Jones we, that was dominant as hell there for a little bit, who completely cleared out a division, luckily. And, you know, whatever we had GSP, we had Anderson Silva back in the day. But, you know, it's kind of like the first time that we've had like a dominant, dominant champion here since, you know, the sport's been evolving as much as it's been. And where we've been having a division, you know, 15 to 25 people deep, just stacked where anybody could probably fight for a title fight. And so it's kind of it's kind of crazy to see right now just the different levels there are of this damn this damn division, and that's what was kind of cool to see with Jerry Cannonier and Marvin Vittori over the weekend. It's like you got you got Izzy at number one for sure. It's like number one, nobody's beating his ass right now. And then you got number two is probably Robert Whitaker, where Whitaker's being beating everyone else in the in the division and keeping them from even being able to fight Izzy. And then you got this that that middle tier right after that where it's the Jared Cannonier, Marvin Vittori, you know, even Drakus Duplessis, Paulo Costa, you could even throw in there, and probably even like Sean Strickland is the other guy that's going to be in there that are still just so dynamic and so damn good, but they're just getting stuck in that little just that little bubble there where I mean you even got to feel worse for somebody like Robert Whitaker where he's beaten every single person that I just named other than Israel Adesanya, and then you got to feel bad for Izzy too because it's like. Man, this dude's running through everybody. He's beat Marvin Vittori twice. He's beat Jerry Cannon ear. I mean, he even beat Yoel Romero whenever he was still there. If you want to add him, he's beat Sean Strickland. You know, he's he's literally beat everybody that we've seen. You know, he's beat Costa. And then, you know, the one person he wants to fight is Drikus Duplessis. And, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure Drikus Duplessis is about to get his ass beat by Robert Whitaker. So, I mean, it's like there's a high chance here where, you, you know, you got Izzy the champion who just finally got out of his little thing with the whole, you know, Alex Perea thing where, He's finally hungry again to look for a new, you know, a new opponent. And we can't even give him one right now because this division's so damn stacked, but he's cleared it all. So it's it's like a really awkward time right now. And then, you know, okay, cool. You got Jerry Cannonier who comes in and beats, you know, one of the probably his best performance he's ever had. He puts it on against Marvin Vittoria this previous weekend. And it's tough too to even say about Marvin Vittoria or somebody because it's like we just saw Marvin Vittoria just have an absolute phenomenal performance against Roman Dalaze, who that guy's literally right on the next, you know, that could have been one of the contenders we were talking about. And then you get you got what uh, Nazarene Mimovov, which is a huge name that's coming up. And you got a guy like John Strickland who just puts him down. And it's like you're sitting here right now at 185. Like, man, what is there really to do right now? And it's it's just weird because, you know, I'm used to like kind of like light heavyweight right now. Not necessarily a dominant champ, but like you got two or three guys that we want to see fight. And then the rest, it's like the division's not very stacked. And then we got 185 right now. It's so damn stacked. But we just have that dominant champion who's just. You know, it's just got a real hold up right now. And it's like, well, we don't want to see Izzy fight Robert Whitaker again. Like you guys, you guys are talking to a guy right now. Whitaker's probably like my second or third favorite fighter currently right now. And probably a top 10 of all time. One of my favorite fighters that I've ever watched. And, you know, I don't even want to see him fight Izzy again, even though I thought he had a lot of success in the, like, the later rounds of the second fight. Still, I just think Izzy's just so good defensively sometimes with these guys, these shorter dudes like Marvin Vittori, even though Marvin's pretty big, but he's still shorter and doesn't have the stand up to get in against Izzy. You know, a guy like Jared Kennedy or Yo Romero, these explosive guys, like Izzy just has way too good a defense and it makes these fights boring. And that's the other tough thing right now is like a lot of people think Izzy's boring and luckily he's coming off that nasty knockout with Alex Perea. But like, guess what? If we see another fight with him and Robert Whitaker, we see another one with, you know, Paulo Costa, even though he's got a lot of work to do. If we would have saw another one with Vittori or Jared Cannon here, these fights are going to be boring, man, because he's too good defensively and these guys just don't have enough to get in there. So, like, I don't, I don't know what you're doing right now if you're Izzy. Like, clearly we're all hoping, probably if you're the UFC right now, you're hoping, you know, Drigas Duplass just comes out and somehow shocks the world and beats Robert Whitaker. But, I mean, other than that, what are we going to do after that? Like, seriously, what is there next for Izzy if, you know, Drigas Duplass just does lose? Like, I'm sorry, what, you're going to fight Jerry Cannonier again? You're going to fight Whitaker again? You know, I guess he could maybe fight Sean Strickland, but Sean Strickland needs to get another win. And, he, I mean, he's fighting an unranked guy. So, it's like, well, I mean, what do you guys want him to do? So, it's it's really tough right now. You got Derek Brunson out there who's just kind of just in that middle line. I feel like he's finally, you know, been shown to be at the, like, probably a gatekeeper more after his loss against Jerry Cannonier and then all these other losses he's taken against Izzy and all these people. You know, Jack Hermanson just didn't have, the, didn't have what it took, you know sucks like Edmund Shabazian could have been one of them guys that's there it's just it's really tough right now because this is a stacked stacked division you got Chris Curtis Imavov 
freaking I they think you still got gas with him. I, I don't know if he moved down or I don't know what the heck's going on with him. Like you got a solid, you know, top twelve, top thirteen people that is pretty stacked, but it's just man, it's just that dry line right now of man, how are we gonna get there? So I do feel bad for all these guys like Jared Cannonier, 38 years old or whatever he is now. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to keep waiting to fight Izzy for the title. Like, you're not going to keep fighting these top five guys and keep going through wars just for the hell of it at 40 years old. Robert Whitaker, what's he about to do? You know, I'd like to see him try to move down, but I think there's been talks of him going up to 205. And it's like, I I know he doesn't seem like he really cares because he's already been there, done that with the title. I'm sure he wants to fight Izzy again, but. Like, is that in the UFC's plan? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm down to see a trilogy, but it's tough to sell a trilogy when you lost the first two. So it's I mean, it's just tough right now. And I want to see these guys get their chances. And it was huge when Alec Pereira was there, but he moved up to the 205. So it's like, I mean, unless he loses the 205 and comes back down, it's still like he hasn't even gotten a win in the top five yet. Unless you count Sean Strickland, I think he just cracked the top five. But at the time, I think he was like a number nine or something. So I don't know. I feel bad for these guys right now. I feel bad for Izzy. I feel bad for Whitaker. I feel bad for all of them right now. They're just in this weird position where it's like the division's not boring, but the matchups that they're out there right now are kind of boring unless we're talking the top five, but we're here to see top three stuff. So, I mean, seriously, I don't know what they're going to do. Shouts out to Jared Cannonier, looking amazing as always. Let's see how this goes, baby. As always, your boy, Steven Moustairs. Let's go.